This is part five of modeling the deep sea diver uh, helmet. And uh, this is gonna be a quick one. We're gonna make a couple of uh, bolts and things uh, for this. So, uh, here's what we're gonna do. Um, let's see. Let's grab that. Shift S, cursor is selected. Bring the 3D cursor right down there. And I am going to bring in a, uh, what do I want to do? Circle. Go for 12 vertices. And make sure that I'm in medium point. Okay, zoom in on that. Okay, so the way that I want to do this is um, I am going to E and S, and bring it in, make a little central hole. And then I'm going to take uh, these three vertices and these three vertices. And I'm going to hit E and scale in the X. That. Then I'm going to scale in the Y a little bit down. And I'm going to take these points and scale them back just a little bit. Just like that. And E to extrude and bring it up. And I'm just going to hit S and scale it in a bit. Okay. So we're gonna have that. Set the origin of geometry on that. And I'm gonna hit uh, Control Two and Shade Smooth and throw in edge loops at the top and the bottom. I'm gonna come out here and we're gonna go in here. Not that one. Same thing on this side. The top, pull that in. Let's do one up here. See if that's enough. Maybe put one more up here. And uh, that's probably good enough. I don't know about getting rid of the bottom ones. Okay. <clears throat> Let's grab uh, a circle like that. Shift D. P to break it out. And uh, let's uh, E and S. And let's, let's use grid fill. And then take this. Extrude it down. Take the whole thing, take it out for a moment. Um, we're going to bring in a few edge loops there. And an edge selection, I want those. And I'm going to control B, and pull, and just give a space like that. E and out S. I'm going to push, I think, to make what looks like sort of thread. Push that back in. Look from the top, it'll go in, that's going to scale. So I see a little bit of the hole. Just like that. And that's all I'm going to do. For that thing. So now I'm going to take them. I'm going to call this um, bolt. And then it's just a question of um, scaling it and uh, rotating it. And one thing I can do is I can go in and I can switch over to local. And it's a little easier to manipulate. And this part is just uh, kind of tedious. It'll 
take this in the Z. We'll just have a look at that. It's going to be like that. And so what I'll do is we'll come down here. Select that. Okay, and I'm going to place a few of these. I don't want to make you watch the whole thing. <laughs> Shifty. I'll just do a little bit. So I'll put one over here. switch over to individual origins if I wanted to and I could scale them all at the same time if I wanted to do that I'll leave those like that for now okay and we're just gonna do one more thing UV sphere I'm gonna go for 16 and 8 it's probably too much but it's okay going to really see this stretching but I'll do the same thing I did before I'll select that and bring my 3d cursor there and then I'm going to delete that vertex and take this E and S coming about halfway and then um, E and alt M merge it center and I've got that point selected I'm going to switch over to proportional editing and I'm going to go on inverse square lose about a bit Make sure when I can see my circle, I'm going to scroll down to about there. And I'm just going to pull that out. And that's better. I'm not going to see it really. I'm going to take this whole thing though, and I'm going to scale this in the X just a little bit. <clears throat> so I don't want that. I'm going to set the origin to geometry. And I'm going to bring in a circle with 12, that's good enough. Scale it in. Let's make a base for this, a little bit wider, I think, than the diameter of that. And now, um, let's try E and S and grid fill. And take this piece and extrude it down. And um, control 2 and shade smooth. And I can put uh, one edge loop here. And I think I might just want this resting on it instead of having a post of some sort. Maybe that is a bit big, so let's just scale it globally. Okay. This is going to go somewhere about three quarters of the way up, maybe a bit more. And um, 
I can. We could try. Let's go back to uh, medium point, by the way. We can try snap to face and rotate line rotation. And I can try this kind of thing and touch the face. And I'm going to turn it off. And I might get reasonably close, but because this is really curved, it's not going to be perfect. So I'm going to have to just do this somewhat by eye again. global just I'm just gonna copy it go in I'm gonna switch to local I'll try this let's try rotate Z 180 too big I'm just looking at uh, whether or not this is too sharp I do. So we'll do the same thing on this one. I'll just pull it in. Okay. Let's try our cavity shader. And um, I want to hit A, select everything. Calculate outside. It looks like a little bit changed, not too much. So um, we're getting up there, but it's going okay. I just want to see if I want more of a pronounced neck there. And I don't think I do. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the next thing is going to be to add some more detail on the helmet, and then we're going to call it uh, call it done at some point, obviously. Cool. Thanks for watching.